Good morning, Northwest. Time is 652. That means it's time for your morning sprint. Caroline Flynn live at Longfellow Elementary where kids are about to head into class for their first day. And Caroline Rourke is tracking the smoke that is back in our skies and could affect your kids' recess today. But first, at a tenant's town hall last night, renters in Spokane asked the city to protect them. They say extremely low vacancy rates are leaving them vulnerable to mistreatment by landlords. Tenants hope the council will work to address things like unfair rent raises, landlords ignoring maintenance or safety issues, and unjustified evictions. Deputies still searching for a man who stole a car in Spokane Valley yesterday with an eight-year-old girl in the back seat. The girl's mom left the car running while she ran into Sam's one-stop convenience store around 6 a.m. When she came out, her car and her daughter were gone. The thief ditched the car not far away, and the girl ran to a neighbor's house. She was unharmed, but deputies are looking for the man in these photos listed as a person of interest in the case. With a tentative agreement over teacher raises reached Tuesday night, kids in Spokane Public Schools are heading back to class today as scheduled. Details of the agreement are still under wraps as the Spokane Education Association still needs to vote on it. A meeting for the vote is set for 7 o'clock tonight at Shadle Park High School. The winds that brought that cold front into our area yesterday cooled down our temperatures. They also brought back some of that smoke that is out there this morning. 74, your high temperature for today, mild and cloudy through the day. Those winds going to be sticking with us, hopefully pushing some of that smoke out for a beautiful evening and a beautiful rest of your seven-day forecast, but again, all dependent upon what that smoke does. And as the kids head back to school today, that smoke sitting over our region is putting recess and other outdoor activities in jeopardy. Air quality in Spokane is currently in the unhealthy for some groups range, but range, but it's just two points away from being unhealthy for all. When there's smoke in the skies, these are the guidelines the Spokane Public School District follows. If we dip into the unhealthy for all range, all students will be kept inside for recess, PE classes will be inside, and sports practices should be canceled or moved indoors. If we stay in the unhealthy for some category throughout the day, only students with certain health conditions will be required to stay inside. And get ready to see a whole lot more yellow school buses and kiddos out because we're just a few uh, short minutes, about an hour away from school starting for the year. Parents, make sure you've got all your kids' health info up to date for schools. And be sure to bookmark the district's social media pages for updates on the air quality for today and whether it will affect things like recess or after school activities. And of course, whether you've got a kid in school or not, make sure you're driving 20 miles per hour in school speed zones to avoid those hefty fines. More than 7,000 kids in southwestern Washington will not go back to school today. Their first day has been delayed as teachers in seven districts near Vancouver are on strike over salary negotiations. Seattle Public School teachers say they will strike too if there's not a deal reached by the first day of school. For them, it's next week on the 5th. Need teachers have approved new contract that includes a 16% pay increase for teachers and runs through 2021. The school board still needs to ratify it. The Central Valley School District still bargaining with its teachers. An informational picket is planned for this afternoon at Micah Peak Early Learning Center. And the West Valley School District and its teachers agreed to a new salary, but the contract is still being worked on. Both the Central Valley and West Valley District start school on Wednesday the 5th. Idaho drivers have been turned away from DMVs across the state for the past few days. The Transportation Department recently rolled out new software systems, and this week, well, they had to shut down computers to troubleshoot multiple problems with it. The state has issued an extension for anyone with an expired or expiring license through October 31st. ITD is hopeful it will have the short-term fix in place for today. Well, those who drove across the Spokane Valley intersection after a semi-truck spilled used food grease and fat all over the road are now left with smelly cars. One woman reached out to us saying she'd washed her car several times but still couldn't get the odor out. We asked the sheriff's office if the trucking company would be held accountable. They said any drivers affected would have to contact the city of Spokane Valley. Coming up next on Good Morning America, thousands lining up to say goodbye. Former Vice President Joe Biden will speak today at a memorial for John McCain as he lies in state at the Arizona Capitol. And a Georgia woman is facing felony charges this morning because police say she posed as a dentist, performing procedures and leaving several patients with badly damaged teeth. 
taking a live look outside right now. You do have some smoke hanging over the area, but the skies are mostly clear with some clouds there. We're hoping to see the winds today push that smoke out of the region to make way for this beautiful seven-day forecast. Mild for the start of your Labor Day weekend, then warming up as we get into next week. Staying mild and dry for the bulk of this forecast and probably the long term as well. Right. Love those temps. Let's just get yes. that smoke back out of here. I know. Hey, good luck, everybody, on your back-to-school day today. We'll see you throughout Good Morning America. Take care.